This is a nut on a stick. If you've lost a welded nut inside of your vehicle's ladder frame, do not worry. This is the solution. Let me show you. All right, so this is your typical ladder frame and you got holes on the side, you got holes on the bottom, and some of these holes have captive nuts to hold things like this skid plate here. And this is a bolt that goes into the ladder frame here. This part is connected to these rock sliders on this vehicle. And this ball was connected to a nut inside the frame here. So inside here was a welded nut and this came loose. So what I did was just use the nut on the stick here. And I went through this hole here, as you can see up here, there's a hole here and I fished the nut down there. And that solves your problem. All you gotta do is simply bend this thing however. Now you're not gonna leave it like this. But you're going to go in every frame as an access hole and you're going to fish it down there okay that's an example you could also go that's a round hole there we got a rectangular hole here jam it in there and fish it down trust me you can do whatever combination of bends you need and it will work as long as the stick is long enough and you can make the stick however you want then it'll work now in the real world, you're gonna bend it looking something like this. If you wanna get like this hole down here where my finger is, and you're gonna twist it in upside down, sideways, jam it in there like that, twist it around like that, bring it down to wherever it needs to go like that. And you're gonna play around with, use a, a reamer or a punch, you can line it up. Once you get it lined up, put your bolt in there and you're done. Now, if you need to take off, let's say a skid plate, and for some reason you want to take the skid plates off periodically for maintenance, whatever, blah, 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 and you don't want a nut behind there, just do the opposite. Put a bolt on a stick, fish it through here. It's easier to fish through. It'll drop down there and then put a nut on the other end and then cut the uh, excess the, uh, bolt away. Same idea, just in reverse. Again, there's typically some way in here. See this? rectangular hole right there there's your access and remember to look on the the other end too meaning the the inboard side of the ladder frame so this is not on a stick believe it or not we'll go into this rectangular hole right there like that twist this whole nonsense around send it downstairs where it needs to go this is a cross member between the front and rear skid and we can see we get a nice oval shaped access hole here same idea get it in there and fish it around finagle this down to where you can get to whatever you're connecting to down here or to the side here if you're going to you know you want something to bolt this way you can get a nut going this way so whatever combination you want to do this thing always works now pay close attention to your ladder frame you have little secret covers this little rubber thing is just a plastic cover here this is hiding an access hole, an oval access hole that you can get your nut on a stick in there. Same thing for up here. That's just a sneaky little cover, but there's a hole behind there. Same thing for down here. So here we have the rear of the vehicle. Here's the spare tire. And this is the rearmost part of the ladder frame cross member. And it doesn't look like there's any access holes, but if you look up here closely, this plastic cover where my finger is, is hiding an actual access hole where you can get, again, you're not on a stick to get down in this rear cross member to reach any of these holes. They're all over your vehicle. The possibilities are endless. Your ladder frame is full of access points. So don't freak out if you break a captive frame mounted not this again is the rear of the ladder frame but look here there's another oval access hole that's hidden there see that see that oval shape you just peel that off and that's where you can fish in the nut on a stick and fish whatever bolt you want to get down to one of these holes or to another side hole and by the way that round thing is also hiding another frame access area so this right here this round thing comes right off Oh, so many possibilities. All right, the point here is not to teach anybody any basic mechanics or anything covering all applications. It's to show you a simple fix. Washer, then a nut, then a stick. Weld this together and bend it however you need to do for it to work for you. It will work. Do not underestimate the power 
of bending a wire in crazy directions. It always works. If you need to undo things, do the same thing. Bolt washer this time and weld it together this way. And you've got the bolt on a stick. Now, some people will reach for riv nuts in a situation like this. I know this isn't a real riv nut, pretend it is. And they'll try to put that into the frame and that works too. But these will, of course, hold a lot better and be stronger. There's nothing on your ladder frame that won't hold super strong with a nut on a stick or a bolt on a stick. You only want to torque anything hanging down from your ladder frame like a skid plate to only like 30 foot pounds. It's all it needs. That's how those welded OEM factory nuts broke to begin with over tightening. Remember, any fastener hanging downward is going to act like a spring washer. Remember, your typical lock washer or split washer like this is nothing more than a spring. It's forcing the fasteners apart like this. Any downward facing fastener, whether it is a nut or a bolt, doesn't need any help because it's doing the same thing. Gravity is forcing the two parts apart, which is why when you look at your car, you don't see any lock washers or anything or any Loctite on anything that's facing down like that. Now use common sense. Don't go using a nut on a stick for a class three or class four hitch receiver. You know that's not the proper application for something that needs to be heavy duty like this. But for virtually everything else going on under your car, the nut on a stick works just fine. Divide 